everyone, and welcome back for another lesson of Berry Blast Theme Park. I'm so excited that you decided to join me today. Now, go ahead and stand up to your feet and get ready for our first song of the day. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Get on, hang on, hang on, strap in. This is just, this is just the beginning. Get on, get on, hang on, strap in. This is just, this is just the beginning. With everyone that got rubber cars, arcades, pirate ships, the tower drop that'll make you go like this go up and down, up, up and down, up and down, up, up and down. Now that's a lot of fun, and I love those rides, but there's one thing here that I gotta try a roller coaster, that's what I can't miss. Make my head spin around and go like this go spin around, spin, spin around, spin around, spin, spin around. Spin, spin around. It's not Adventure with everyone. They've got Ferris wheels, teacups, carousels, cotton candy, nacho cheese, and those big pretzels. Go. Now I love those rides and I love great food. And I don't mean to be a little bit rude, but the roller coaster is what I can't miss. Makes my head spin around and go like this. Go spin around, spin, spin around, spin around, spin, spin around. It's time to start it up. Get your hands up. Awesome job. I love that song, and I hope that you guys have been enjoying it as well. Now, I hope that you remember all of the other fruits of the Spirit that we've learned through our past few lessons, because we are about to learn another fruit. And this one is very exciting, it's very important, and it is self-control. Now, I'm sure that you've heard this term a whole lot. Now, self-control can mean a lot of different things, but mostly it means acting in a way that God would be pleased with, thinking before you act, because we can't act in a way that's good if we don't have self-control. Sometimes the way that we feel and the way that we want to act isn't necessarily the way that God wants us to act. Now, we're going to take a look at our main point. This one is super important, and it's kind of long, so we have some hand motions to go with it. It is, I will think of what God wants me to do before I act. Now, our hand motions are, I will think of what God wants me to do before I act. Now, try it with me. I will think of what God wants me to do before I act. One more time, a little bit faster. I will think of what God wants me to do before I act. Awesome job. 
Now, this main point is really important. And I have a feeling that Twitch is going to learn something about this today as well. So let's go ahead and check in at Berry Blast Theme Park and see what kind of lesson Twitch has in store. Well, today is a big day for you, Twitch. Uh, am I getting a promotion? Well, no, it's a Is it a raise? No, it's a it's surprise. It's a new car! No! <laughs> it's a surprise. But first, it's time for the Fruit of the Spirit cheer. Hands in. OK. OK, here we go. Say it with me now. Love, joy, yeah. peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Whoa! <laughs> hey, you're getting good at this. Are you ready for your surprise? Well, I'm a little nervous, but you know what? Just give me a second, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Good. Today, Twitch, you are going to be trained on the park intercom system. The park intercom system, yes! What, what's the park intercom system? Oh, well, it's the loudspeaker for which all official park announcements are to be made. When you speak into the intercom, the entire park will hear your voice. We're having to trade you on this because our regular announcement guy is still recovering from multiple fruit bee stings. Oh, great. When do I start? Well, our chief of security will be coming by to train you, but first, I have another training video for you to watch. It'll help get you up to speed. OK. OK. Welcome to training video number three, self-control and you. Billy shows self-control in everything he does. And self-control is very important because today, Billy will learn how to use the park's intercom system. And he knows that you can't start off a day of work without a good breakfast. Breakfast? Oh, no, I didn't have breakfast today. I got to go find some food or I'll never be a good announcement speaker intercom making type person. Yes, after a healthy breakfast, Billy is ready to learn the intercom. It's easy. Using the special intercom radio, simply push in the button and speak into the microphone. See? It's easy. But wait! There's more to using the intercom than pushing a button and talking. You need to know the rule. Rule number one. The intercom system is only for official park announcements. Rule number two. Scheduled announcements must be made at the appropriate time. Rule number three. Check with your supervisor before making any emergency announcements. It looks like Billy is ready to make an announcement. Why, just look at him go! Billy's got the hang of it already. Wait a moment, what's this? Billy sees his two friends, Tex and Scooter. He tries to get their attention, but they're too far away to hear him. Billy could use the intercom speaker to get their attention, but that would break the rules. Getting your friend's attention is not an official park announcement. Billy thinks before he acts and decides it isn't a good idea to use the intercom right now. Billy uses self-control. Instead, Billy is going to go talk to his friends in person, but only for a moment. After all, Billy is here at work. Yes, through self-control, Billy's future is coming through loud and clear. Remember, self-control is thinking of what God wants you to do before you act. And now it's your turn to be like Billy and have self-control. Well, I finally got done with my banana breakfast. You know, who knew they actually made banana shish kebabs? <laughs> You're the new guy, <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to mess up the snow cone stand. You're not gonna arrest me, are you? Calm down. Bernie said you were jumpy. 
it's time to train you on the intercom system. Here, this is the intercom control. When you need to make an announcement, press the button on the side. Speak in the microphone. OK, like this? Never shake hands with the penguin on Tuesdays. No, not like that. That wasn't an official park announcement. If it's not an official park announcement, don't say it. OK, fine. How about this? This is an official park announcement. Never shake hands with a penguin on Tuesdays. This is an official park announcement. No, that wasn't an official park announcement. Yeah, I just said it was an official park announcement. Listen, this here is the official park announcements. This is what you are to say into the intercom. These are the announcements. These are the times they need to be made. And there's nothing on here about penguins. OK, I got it. About time. Why don't you try that first one there? Okay. Attention park attendees, come and join us at the Fruit Salad Theater today for some fruity fun when our team of trained fruit takes the stage. This has been an official park announcement. That was great. You're gonna be really great at this job. Remember, the intercom can be a lot of fun, but to be good at it, you need to use self-control. Yeah, self-control, gotcha. Okay, whatever. Okay, got Great. It. I'll leave you to make the announcements for the day. Okay. You know, I really don't understand what the whole self-control thing was all about. I mean, what does having a big breakfast have to do with making park announcements? Oh, it's time for another one. <clears throat> Attention park attendees. Today is half-price Fruity Frozen Pops Day. Look for those delicious Fruity Frozen Pops at any of our Fruity Frozen Pop stands. This has been an official park announcement. <laughs> I sound awesome on these things. You know, these are kind of boring, though. Um, maybe I can fix it up. Let's see here. <laughs> Much better. Attention park attendees, there is no need to panic. A vicious fruit shark has just been spotted in the fruity juice wave pool. Please exit the pool in a calm and orderly fashion. This has been an official park announcement. It's hot! <laughs> Oh, I know. Let's see. Attention park attendees, this is an official park announcement. I need a snow cone, now! <laughs> this has been an official park announcement. This is really good. Oh, this will be great. Okay. <laughs> Attention park attendees, this is an official park announcement. There's an emergency. That's right, an emergency. The fruit bees are back, and they're even deadlier than ever. That's right, and if you want to survive, you're going to want to make sure you do. And you also want to make sure that you. And if you have children, you want to make sure that they. Yeah. This has been an official park announcement. Now, it's time once again for Twitch's Intercom Theater Presents. When last we left our hero agent, Twitchy Twitcherson, he was staring down his arch nemesis, the evil Count Bernie Stein. You'll never stop me or my evil plans to turn the world's fruits into vegetables, <laughs> said Count Bernie Stein with a sneer. Ha ha! I've already pulled your plans, said Agent Twitcherson as he flipped the self destruct switch. No! said Count Bernie Steen as his lair of evil began to crumble. Will Agent Twitchy Twitcherson escape in time? Tune in tomorrow. Same Twitchy time, same Twitchy channel. This has been an official park announcement. That was good. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, Bernie! How long have you been standing there? Long enough. Who's this evil Count Bernie Steen you've been talking about? No, no one. <laughs> I was just having a little fun. A little fun? Twitch, you've been playing on the intercom for hours. Uh, you've been making all the attendees very unhappy. Uh, half of them are running around in a panic and the other ones are walking around angry. And the rest have left for the day. It, you were supposed to exercise self-control while using the intercom. Didn't you see the video? Yes, and the video clearly states that it's all about having a full belly of breakfast. I mean, that's what self-control is anyways. I tell you what, I've got a full belly of self-control. <laughs> what? Breakfast? That is not what self-control is. Look, I don't know how you got this confused about self-control, but we need to set you straight as soon as possible. Come with me. Well, no, It is time for the training ride again. But it's really intense. <laughs> Welcome to Twitch Hunter. 
Please bet on your seatbelt and keep your hands and feet inside the car at all times. When we look at the life of David, we see many positive things, things that made God say that David was a man after God's own heart. One of the positive things that God saw in David's life was his self-control. David always tried to think about what God would want him to do before he acted. Well, a good example of this is found in 1 Samuel 26. The Bible tells us that earlier in his life, David had been anointed by Samuel and had been chosen by God to be the king of Israel. The problem, however, was that Israel already had a king, and his name was Saul. At first, Saul liked David. I mean, why not? David had saved Israel from the Philistines by defeating Goliath. Saul liked David so much that he put David in charge of all of his armies. Things were going good for David. Unfortunately, the good things that were happening to David didn't last long. Soon, all of the people in Israel began to love David. In fact, they began to love him more than they loved King Saul. Saul didn't like this at all. He started to get jealous of David. And soon, his jealousy turned into anger. And his anger grew and grew until one day, he decided that he was going to kill David. Well, when David heard that Saul wanted to kill him, he ran away into the wilderness. And with him were several men who knew that David hadn't done anything wrong. But this wasn't the end of David's problems. Even though David ran away, Saul didn't give up. He formed an army of 3,000 men to find David so that he could kill him. One night, as Saul and his army were chasing David, Saul decided to camp near a hill where they believed that David was hiding. David saw where they were and he decided to do something very, very daring. In the middle of the night, David crept into Saul's camp while everyone was asleep. Now, this was a very dangerous thing to do. If David was caught, he would surely be killed. Quietly, he and his friend Abishai carefully crept into the enemy camp. They snuck past Saul's guards, and then they saw him. King Saul. He was asleep on the ground right in front of them. As they looked at the king, they saw a spear stuck in the ground right next to him. And David's friend whispered to David and said, Can I use the spear to kill Saul? Now David had a choice to make. He could let his friend kill Saul, which could end all of his problems. Or he could let Saul live and risk being chased for the rest of his life. At that moment, David stopped and thought about what God would want him to do. And you know what he said? No, do not kill him. You see, God had made Saul king, and it would be wrong for David to kill the king. In that moment, David showed self-control by stopping and thinking what God would want him to do. And as a result, he let Saul live. Well, David and his friend then snuck back out of the camp. But before they did, David took Saul's spear and his water jug. And when he was a safe distance away, he called out to Saul's army, showing them the jug of water and the spear that they had taken. You see, he did this to show Saul and his army that he could have killed Saul. But instead, he chose to do the right thing and let Saul live. Because Saul saw this, he realized he had been wrong to chase David, and he let David go. Now, that's a great story because it showed that David had self-control. He thought about what God wanted before he acted, and as a result, God was pleased with him. So the next time you want to do something wrong, be like David and show self-control by stopping to think about what God would want you to do.
man, I wonder if I'll ever get used to those twists and turns. That's self-control, huh? Well, I guess I didn't show much self-control with the whole announcement thing. Hmm. You know what, Bernie, I... Ah! I'm sorry about all those no cone stands. I didn't mean to mess them all up. What? Oh, you're probably here because you've heard all the announcements I've been making all day, huh? I'm really, really, really sorry. I, I guess you're gonna want these back, huh? Don't have to apologize to me. Before I take my walkie-talkie back, I need to hear you apologize to everyone in the park. Okay, just one second. Self-control is thinking about what God wants before I act. See, I guess God would want me to apologize and make it right. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to apologize. Attention park attendees, my name is Twitch, and I'm the guy that's been making all the announcements all day. And I just wanted to let you know I'm sorry. And if I've made any of you scared, angry, or, or upset, then I want to make it right. So if you want to meet me at Snow Cone Stand 3, I'm going to buy you a snow cone. This has been an official park announcement. I guess you're going to want these now, huh? No. You should hang on to that for a while. But why? I don't understand. Your apology showed me that you've learned a little bit about self-control. That means you're ready for the walkie-talkie. And I should know, because I've been testing you the whole yes! time! Bernie, would you disguise again? Yep, this was another test. Self-control is a very important fruit of the spirit. It can get you out of all kinds of jams. <laughs> get it, jams? <laughs> anyway, it's very important you remember this lesson. Self-control means to think about what God wants before we act. Now, let's go find out how many snow cones you have to buy. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Bernie, for being my trainer. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> uh, don't mention it, Twitch. <laughs> Awesome. Now, sometimes the way that we want to act and sometimes the things that we're feeling aren't the things that God wants us to do. And that's where self-control comes really in handy. Because if we stop and think about everything that we do, we'll have more time to make the right decisions. Now, I hope that you're remembering this because it's super important. Let's take a, let's take a few seconds to talk about our Bible story. Now, David could have taken the situation into his own hands and killed Saul right then. But instead, he, said, he decided to wait, and he decided to think before he acted. And in the end, he had self-control, and he waited for God's timing to become king. We should all be like David and practice having self-control and thinking before we act. Now, we're going to take a look at today's Bible verse, which talks more about self-control and explains it in a little bit of a different way. Now, today's Bible verse is Proverbs 25, 28, and it says, A person without self-control is like a city with broken down walls. Now, I want you to imagine a city with a huge wall around it. Maybe you can even think about Jericho, which is a city that had a big wall in the Bible. Now, a wall is built to protect a city. And if we are the city and self-control is the wall, that means that self-control is there to protect us from making bad decisions, and maybe even things that could hurt us. Like, say, your mom just took cookies out of the oven, and she says, you need to have self-control and wait just a little bit longer to eat one of the cookies. And your mom walks away, and you decide not to have self-control, and you pick up one of the cookies, and you burn your fingers. That's why self-control is like a wall. It can protect you. And without self-control, we are like cities with broken down walls. We have no way of protecting ourselves. So keep this Bible verse in mind, Proverbs 25, 28, and really work on your self-control and thinking before you act. God will definitely be pleased with you if you do that. Now, before we go, we're going to do one more song together. So go ahead and stand up to your feet and join me in our last song of the day.
awesome job. I hope you love that song, and I hope that you learned something from today's lesson. Let's all try to be a little bit more like David and practice our self-control so that God will be pleased with us and we can make good decisions. I hope you have an amazing week, and I hope that you really, really enjoyed this lesson. Now, I will see you guys again next week for our next Fruit of the Spirit. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.